So I remember my first day of monk school, I've just shaved my head, I'm now wearing robes, I still look like I'm from London, like I can't get away with it. I'm walking around and I notice this monk who's teaching. This monk's 10 years old and he's teaching a group of five-year-old monks, right? And I see him teaching, he looks like an adult, like, wow. you know, his ability to like teach these five-year-olds and conduct himself and he's got this great aura about him. And so I'm kind of eavesdropping on his class. I can't obviously go and sit with a bunch of five-year-olds even though I really want to because I'm like, I feel like a five-year-old next to that 10-year-old. I, I went up to him and I said, what are you doing? And he said, oh, well, we just taught their first class ever. And I said, oh, cool. And he said, well, what did you learn in your first class at school? And I said, oh, well, I learned the alphabet and numbers. And I said, well, what did they learn? He said, the first thing that we teach them, the first thing you learn at monk school is learning how to breathe. And I said, why? He said, because we're taught that the only thing that stays with you from the moment you're born to the moment you die is your breath. All your friends, family, the country you live in, all of that's going to change. Mm -hmm. The only thing that doesn't change, that stays with you from the moment you're born to the moment you die is your breath. And he said, notice, when you get stressed, what changes? Your breath. Right. When you get angry, what changes? Your breath. When you're sad, what changes? Your breath. When you're happy, what changes? Your breath. Every emotion is experienced with the change of the breath. So he said, when you learn how to navigate and manage your breath, you can actually navigate any situation in life. You've got to go on stage in front of 10,000 people. You've got to go to a concert. You just lost a deal or a contract. Our breath changes in all those scenarios, yet we don't know how to use our breath to change our life. And so for me, that was a huge learning point where I just thought, wow, that's what you're taught. The priority is on the root of things, not the leaf or the symptoms. Wow. And that's the biggest thing about living as a monk. You're not dealing with your challenges at symptomatic level. You're dealing with it at root level, right? People say, oh, if you're stressed out, just take a stress pill. If you're stressed out, just go to get a massage. If you're stressed out, just, just relax, watch Netflix and chill. But all that's doing is pacifying you escape for that hour, two hours, maybe a week. But going to the root of it and learning how to change your breath means you can manage any situation in life. And, and that principle, that's an example of the principle which is so much deeper. That always go to the root. It will take longer, but it will last longer. Right, right. Right? If you right. go to the root, it takes longer, but it lasts longer.